Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Ferris and Tarot. We're doing as well. We are still throwing down for April Capricorn. You are next in the pile. So I'm just going to get right to it. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates, be cool. It's your free will to be if you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can be, but vice versa. might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the first sign table table. Everybody's always welcome here. I appreciate it when you guys stop by. Thanks for coming to hang out today while you're here. If you feel so inclined and you think you might want to, uh, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That way you can know when I upload because right now I'm not really doing it with much regularity because I'm still battling some health problems and vibration issues and general life. It, <laughs> it's, it's a daily battle for me. Anyway. Wow, really? Apparently the cards are saying, stop shuffling me. I want to play. So, all right. King of Cups, Ten of Cups. I mean, that's not terrible. So, Let's see what comes out. One more. There we go. Okay. Before I do the invocation, two quick things. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a terror beating. It is just not a good idea. Please don't do it. Two. If it is not your story, not your reading, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay? Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Let's bring Capricorn to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Capricorn... Five of Pentacles reversed is why you're here. Hmm. That's very interesting. Capricorn, who's knocking on the back door? Let me in. Has there been a house plant out there all winter long? Are the leaves holding on for dear life? I mean, it's not, it's not my witch's tarot deck, but you know, it's still the vision I get in my head with the five of pentacles, specifically in the reverse, somebody wants back in. Okay. Maybe you're the one who wants back into a situation, Capricorn. I don't know. I'm not there. Four of wands reversed and the princess of cups in the past. Okay. The Four of Wands versus my Minor Arcana Tower. It wasn't too stable, was it? No. No, it wasn't stable. Why is the Princess of Cups hanging out? Hmm. I get some clarity on that in a second because she has me all confused. Or is that why the tower fell? Is that why somebody ended up out on the back porch? Current energy, the hanged man. Oh boy. That's an interesting card too. We can talk about emotional hang-ups, being put up in the hangman's gallows, seeing things from both sides of the coin. Mm, oh boy. I don't know how I feel about that. That's your current energy. Hmm. Is that maybe where you're contemplating and letting them in the back door? The Hermit's reversed and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like that Hermit reversed. I don't like it at all. Two 
two of pentacles. Is that why it wasn't stable? Was there some juggling going on? That's somebody trying to keep things balanced, but doesn't quite have their sea legs. They don't even have both feet on the ground and they're trying to balance things. Can you balance things when you're not completely grounded? It's a struggle. Struggle for most people. Okay. I see. I see what's going on. There was a tower because things weren't balanced. Things were unstable. This Princess of Cups is a comeback queen. King, you know, whatever. Insert your pronoun, okay? I'm just reading cards. Six Swords indicates a return. Could have been a phone call. Could have been a text message. Could have been a chance meeting. I don't know. Coffee shop somewhere. I don't know. I wasn't there. But that's communication. That's an I miss you. Maybe you miss them a little bit too, Capricorn. Hmm. Current energy. Five of Pentacles reversed in the hang. Man, that's emotional hang up. That's being up in the gallows. Four of Pentacles hanging on to somebody. Mm hmm. Maybe you're hanging on to each other. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm just throwing down cards. Ah, oh, immediate. I don't know about that. Oh, gosh. I mean, two aces. I mean, a hermit reverse, two of swords reverse. I don't see. I'm going to throw down clarifiers before I open my mouth anymore. I'm throwing down for clarity because. I don't see you doing anything about this because I see something new coming in for you that is both intellectual and abundant. I see it. Might be slow moving, but I see it. <sighs> Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Capricorn, please? Capricorn, April 2021. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What do we got going on here? Nine of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. So... Is that why? You're happy. You found your independence. You got nine pentacles of your own. You don't need anybody else's. You got nine full cups. You don't know if you want this tenth one. I mean, you do miss them, but it wasn't stable wasn't grounded. And uh, this uh, comeback princess here has things a little bit uh, emotional hooey bluey, don't they? Kind of up in the gallows a little bit. Not quite sure what to make of it. You really didn't let it go, did you? Hmm. I don't even think I need to clarify this. I'm going to leave that alone. 
can clarify starting from here. That done told its story. Seven of Cups reversed. Temptations. Not quite sure which path to take. Not quite sure if you made the right decision. You're all up in the gallows about it. Three of Swords, but you're not heartbroken. Because you have nine full of cups and you have nine pentacles. You're okay, Capricorn. They're the ones that's not. They're the ones who came to you after the tower fell because things were not stable. Things were not grounded. You cannot expect stability when you don't have both feet on the ground. It's a horrible position to try to juggle and I don't understand how people can do it. Anyway, how people can even think they can do it. One more on that. Eight of Wands. This tells me somebody's trying to be a fast talker. Yes, you miss them, and they are using that to their advantage. Why is a hermit here? Why is the hermit reversed here? Two of cups. Oh my. Well, that's new. And the fool. Wow. Why the two of swords reversed? Six of pentacles reversed, things not equal, things not even, things not stable. Queen of wands, oh boy. This person lights your fire. That's why this is a difficult decision. One, you have not healed from this yet. This still, you're not saddened by it. You definitely got it going on on your own, but you have not healed from it yet. I don't think there was closure. You're having a hard time letting them go. You haven't healed from it. This is a difficult, you have a difficult decision ahead of you. You are indeed a catch, but you need to keep in mind, there's a reason why it didn't break your heart. Yes, they lit your fire, but things were not stable. Things may not have been equal. Mm. You got something new coming. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? My, and my point with the whole you have not healed from this yet, because it is a two of cups and a fool on top of it, you need, this could be a slippery slope if you're not careful with it. Because whatever new is coming has the potential 
to be abundant and amazing and wonderful and a breath of fresh air in your existence, Capricorn. However, it is not a good band-aid. Eight of Swords reversed. That's a good energy to be in. Don't let this put you in some kind of like mental prison. If you're going to start fresh and start new, this needs to be behind you. Oh my, hi. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Eight of Cups. Wow, I like it. Yes. You need to walk away from whatever this was and walk toward whatever this is. And whatever this is. Because this... Not what you want. And this... As painful as that was, having to walk away and leave somebody out in the cold or vice versa led to this. This is not a bad energy to be in either. Just saying. Moon reversed came out. That's things being illuminated. So you can see better in the sunshine than you can in the moonlight. It's all about perception. One last one on this Ace of Swords. Thank you. Three of Pentacles reversed. Uh, one more. Why did that land in the reverse? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Mm. very good. Yeah, you do kind of need to keep the brakes on that a little bit so it doesn't become a band-aid for an open wound. This is where you buy yourself a little bit of time. Don't build the foundation on shaky ground until you've released what you need to release. Okay, Capricorn? All right, let's get your advice. Moon reversed, Princess of Swords reversed. Very good. Make sure there is open and honest communication going on and nothing but. So, when whoever this is decides, if they haven't already decided to make their re-entrance into your life, Make sure you know exactly what their terms are and exactly why they've come back. Don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Because there was a reason why this went into separation. It was unstable. And if they're not coming back with the uh, most wholesome or purest of intentions, I'd cut off communication altogether. Power in the Ace of Cups. That is a beautiful piece of advice. This is, and it's the third Ace. This is a beautiful piece of advice, and I'm going to tell you why. Towers fall. Sorry, picking up a card. Towers fall because they're meant to. As catastrophic as this seemed at the time, it paved the way for that. The crap has to be leveled and pushed aside for the good stuff to come in. Same.
Hangman reversed and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, look at that catch. Don't let anybody steal your sunshine. Don't let somebody leave a bad taste in your mouth. Closure lies in your hands and your hands alone. You are the only one with the power to close the cycles in your life. If you repeatedly allow toxic things to come back in, your life will be a merry-go-round. So, don't let someone keep you in the emotional gallows. Don't let somebody pull your puppet strings like that. I mean, that's just advice from, from a middle-aged tarot reader. You know, do what you want. I don't know. I'm just reading cards, guys. But Capricorn, thanks for coming by. I hope you have a lovely rest of your April. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Hugs and kisses. Much love. Know that you're loved. Be blessed, and I will catch you guys next time.